All right, thanks for uh, joining me. This is a companion video uh, to an article I've written for Adorama Learning Channel. And this is just going to be a quick sort of uh, color grade tutorial on how to uh, um, color grade a, a pretty uh, um, wide dynamic range uh, footage here. We've got, uh, so this was shot outside. Obviously, these guys are in the shade. Uh, and you have full sun on the background. <clears throat> so they're actually slightly underexposed and the uh, the background is, is pretty pretty nicely exposed. But as soon as we start playing with the levels, the problem we run into is uh, that the uh, the background quickly blows out as soon as we try to raise these levels. So we're going to uh, talk about how to how to control that, how to at least one way to do it. I'm sure there are others. And if everything goes right, it'll look like this. So we've got a couple different uh, effects on here. I'm just going to bypass those. So the way we're going to approach this is we've got. Uh, multiple layers. We're just going to turn this one off for right now. This is just a uh, untouched uh, layer so we can do a quick before and after and check our progress. Um, this layer right down here I'm going to use as a uh, uh, a layer to color correct our uh, talent here, the foreground. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, I use Colorista um, but this, all the principles here work uh, with any color correction software that you might use uh, even if you don't have color correction you can use the uh, in the color correction channel here you got uh, the uh, three-way color corrector and uh, other tools all the principles are the same it's just uh, I like using Colorista as a uh, one and done So the first thing we're going to do, like I said, we're going to color correct uh, for uh, uh, our foreground. And so what we need to do is, obviously we need to uh, brighten these guys up because they're underexposed. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And as you can see, the, the background is starting to... Uh, there we go. Sorry, I had to turn off that layer. The uh, background is starting to blow out uh, horribly. And those guys are getting washed out. So let's go in here and uh, throw in some contrast. Going to bring down our shadows so they look normal. And the highlights, we're really not going to worry about the highlights too much, and you'll find out why very soon. Let's. Uh, that looks all right. <clears throat> like I said, those we're just going to let those highlights blow out for right now. Um, and then, uh, like I said, since they're in the shade and they're looking quite cool in tone, we're just going to go ahead and uh, throw some warmth under their skin. We want to get them looking nice and nice and skin tony and. Don't want to get too strong with the saturation, but you know that's looking pretty good. Um, and as you can see, you know, aside from the edges of the hair which are blown out because it's a highlight, uh, they're actually looking pretty good. So that's pretty simple so far. Um, so the next thing that we have to do is we have to address the background, and that's what this uh, the second layer is for. Uh, so what I've done is I've actually drawn a mask on this second layer. And the mask, uh, as you can see, is simply to cut the background out from the foreground. And I have a pretty strong feather right here. And that feathering is so that uh, you don't see as much of a transition between these shots. Um, we're really just using this layer uh, to counteract the 
uh, blowing out of the of the bottom layer here, and we've done a pretty decent job. So that's essentially the uh, uncorrected background. You can see it actually looks pretty nice. So I don't want to do too much to the background. Um, I want to uh, obviously bring in some contrast, bring in some color, because right now it looks pretty flat. But I don't want to do too much. So I'm going to go in here and let's uh, let's bring in some contrast. Now you want to be careful at this point because, as you can see, um, we're uh, So anyway, we're going to start bringing in some contrast. I do want to be careful because we are spilling over into, uh, because of that feather, uh, spilling into the uh, other, the underneath footage. So we're going to correct for this, and then we'll have to go in and we'll have to make some other adjustments just to tweak the balance between these two layers. So uh, let's bring in some contrast. And we're not going to do too much here. We just want to be able to show off some of the colors in the background. There we go. And I'm just going to throw a little uh, sharpening, and this is just uh, this is uh, pop uh, or a pop slider. It's a, it's really just a uh, a local contrast uh, adjustment, just like uh, unsharp mask. So as you can see, we can go in and turn it way up and make it look weird, or we can soften it up. Um, just going to punch in a little bit again. I, I don't want to affect the overall tone. Just want to get a little bit of stuff in there, and then let's uh, let's throw some warmth into it. Nothing major, and as you can see, though, uh, we have brought the uh, brought our characters down a little bit. So we're just going to. Uh, play with uh, some of these tools just to try to uh, balance out our uh, I think that looks alright so this is a pretty quick uh, demonstration um, and of course you could go in and, and you could spend hours uh, tweaking this and, and just making it look really great now these guys are aside from moving their hands they're standing pretty still so I'm not going to worry about animating that mask but uh, if they were moving around um, animating the mask is something that uh, you might uh, think about doing but as you can see it's a it doesn't really take too long once you obviously it took longer to originally figure out how to get this thing done uh, but once you get it figured out it it goes pretty quickly and uh, uh, you get a pretty good result without spending a whole lot of time on this so um, you know, thanks for thanks for watching, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, see you next time.